Ow. All right, folks. Guess what I've been making. <laughs> oh dear. Right then folks, just give you a bit of a look round, show you how things have been progressing, what I've been up to, as you can see, for, some, for no reason at all, other than I wanted to make one, I've made myself a little sort of hobbit house, so it's either going to be a glorified tool shed, it's actually big enough to sleep in, because it's about six foot six long, inside, and it was all done with recycled bits, from that bit over there, which used to have all my carrot sand and stuff in which I never used so I thought I'm gonna use all the polycarbonate and wood put it on fence posts so I've raised it off the ground used all the wood used all the polycarbonate to make myself a little a little whatnot so there you go should be completely covered in a, in a year or two when all the trees and the bushes grow over it so anyway it's just something silly to do but something to do so I'll just show you what's go what's been going on. Start off with the shrubbery. Everything seems to be growing really well. Everything's taken. And actually looks like things are getting a little bit bigger. Even the ferns, which I thought in this sort of weather, they might not take, but they've all taken. Growing away nicely. So like I said, it was all done from this. That was where I used to keep all my uh, carrots, sand and carrots when I used to grow them outside. I haven't done it for years now. So I've just knocked it all down, put all the sand back in the bags and we'll just uh, tidy this bit up next, make it into something else. So anyway, let's see how things are growing. Growing pretty well, could do with a bit of a weeding. These are the leeks, all taken quite well now, doing pretty well. Now the weather's warming up. And if you remember, I planted a load of onions really daftly close together. There was, I think there was 92 in a square yard. And some of them are actually ready now, believe it or not. And I'm more than happy with an onion that size when they're planted about three inches apart. That's the sort of size I was aiming for. Which isn't bad when you can get 92 onions that size, hopefully, in a square yard. These are one of the earlier varieties. There's some early varieties and later varieties, so obviously the early ones are bigger. But no, you can't complain about that. I prefer them to be that size. In the main bed where they've got a lot more space but uh, no pretty pretty happy so far with how they're going they're not all as big as that but they're all making a reasonable size cabbages still starting to heart up don't know whether you can just about see greyhound variety cauliflowers I'm not sure how they're getting on really can't see anything the leaves are all sort of curling over the crown so presumably the, the, the curd will be forming Again, a few more bits and pieces, just all the spare stuff, spare shallots. Really close together. Could all do with a good old weeding. Oh, we'll just have a look in here. See how things are progressing. My bulrushes, believe it or not. I'll see if I can get the... Can you see, can you see the pollen coming off those? Last night it was... The, oh yeah, look at that. Look at the pollen. So the bulrush is in the pond. <laughs> yeah, it's always something nice to look at. Right, the little wildflower garden jobby. Got the first of the wildflowers coming out now. The ones that I saw, these are just the Californian poppies. They only tend to come out fully when the sun's when the sun's out. So with it being about six o'clock now, they've, they've all sh shut up for the night. But some other things coming out, don't know what they are. So, should be pretty good. Sweet peas finally started to get going. The mare's tail's going berserk. berserk. Keep pulling it up. That's one week's growth from not pulling it up. So, if you leave it, it just seems to just go bananas. So, anyway. Gooseberries not ripe yet, but I've never seen gooseberries as big as these in my life. They are absolutely huge. So, if I can get those to ripen up a bit. If I try and have a grab at her, that's a little one. I can't really get to any. I can just see if just squeeze one. No, they're still rock hard. But this sunshine we're supposed to get this heat wave might ripen them up a bit, so hopefully we should be up and running with those. Before we get onto veg again, I've just had a big clear out with this area here. This was just all weeds, nettles, thistles, docks and everything. 
So I completely weeded it all, put some new wood in, and again, planted some more thistle, not thistle, ferns in. And I'm going to plant a lot of sort of perennial bulbs in there, I think. So into the polytunnel. And the French beans are going berserk. The cobras, they're right up past the roof now. So I would say that's 12 foot if they were just growing straight up. And we have now the first beans on. Only a little, so that'll be a multitude of beans now for, I would say, six weeks. Because there's flowers absolutely everywhere. Absolutely covered in flowers. So it's just a matter of keeping them really, really well watered in this sort of weather. I'll be giving them like two gallon, two or three gallons every single day. Otherwise the flowers will drop off and you won't get any beans. And the courgette, which I didn't think was doing very well. Must be about 12 courgettes on there. <laughs> Only little, but absolutely fine. And the world's most pathet pathetic cucumbers finally perked up. I need to train that up a few canes, I think, or up a string. I've just been scrabbling about on the ground. I've been a bit busy recently, so not had much time to do stuff. So we'll just have a look at the main plot. Or one of. This is my gravel bit. I've put all the rest of the gravel in here. We'll start with the good stuff and finish off with the bad bits. So the peas, I've never had. They're not quite ready yet, but I've never seen as many peas on a plant in my life. So when these all fill out, and I've never seen them as long either the length of that they're like five inches long and it's absolutely it's just laden with them there must be there's just hundreds Hearst green shaft great variety like I say I've changed uh, seed companies this year and these are the best I've ever had and they're on both sides as you can see just absolutely hanging with them so they should be ready in there's some just about ready at the bottom, so maybe a week and they should all be ready for picking, which is good. Little courgettes outside, doing quite nicely. Just starting a few little fruits on there. And this year's banana shallots, the different variety. These are called Elista, as opposed to the Zebron, which were a disaster last year and apparently have been an even worse disaster this year for people. I'll just show you the sort of size. At the moment, that's just a single one there. And I've planted a few in clumps. If I show you a few of those. And there's a double there. So they're getting bigger. Nothing massive. Thought seem to be as big as Zebrum, which doesn't matter at all. But uh, looking pretty good. Carrots have all perked up now. I actually had a scrat about in this one last night. Probably a bit dark, but there's a carrot there with a the top about an inch across, so. They're actually ready to pull now, so that's good. And I've got plenty of them, and they're all, all doing all right. And so the onions, like I said, we've got two different varieties of, we've got red ones, and then we've got a, a late variety of just normal yellow onions or whatever you call them, and then the early variety. And if you look at this early variety, I'm just gonna start pulling them now. Let's have a look, because there's no need for these to get any bigger. I mean, that's a decent sized onion for anyone's money, isn't it? And to get them after, I only planted these in the middle of April, so sort of early April, so they've had about 90 to 100 days, that's all, from a set. And they're not the, over, they're not the overwintering ones, they're just normal heat treated onions, but an early variety. So I'll try and remember what variety these were, and I'll definitely be growing them again because to be able to take onions fresh to eat instead of having to store them in July means I can nearly get a, get a year's worth of onions with the ones I store. So they're really, really good, really pleased with those so far. But one thing that has been a bit of a disaster, but not necessarily, we'll have to wait and see, is the garlic. As, as you can see, I'll get out of the sun, it's absolutely covered in rust. I mean, even the grass has got rust around here now, so it must have been conditions conducive to to sort of fungal infections. And I sprayed it with some of that neem oil. It hasn't done a jot of difference. It might have slowed it down without me knowing it, but it doesn't appear to. So if I can get another month out of these, get to the middle of August, then they should produce a decent bulb. And it's still growing fresh green leaves out of there so they can photosynthesize from the remaining bits of fresh stuff. 
until the, the rust takes play, takes hold. In fact, what I'll do, I'll just have a little scrat about. It's always too early to see, but we'll see if we have got any bulbs forming. And as you know, I plant mine a lot later than most people. But we have got a little bit of a bulb forming, not too big. But like I said, if we get another month to six weeks, we should get uh, some kind of crop anyway. So that's about the only disaster this year. But everything else looking pretty good. I'm just going to this other bit. I've never seen potatoes as big as this in my life. Right, we'll start off with the first lot of lettuce. Nearly got through these now, probably only got about 10 left. I'll take a couple tonight, so there'll be what? There's only these two big ones left. And I'm not too keen on these anyway, they're a bit tough. Prefer the multi green, which is covered in soil because the pheasants have been in again, playing havoc. So, yeah, just about got through those. Spuds are doing absolutely amazingly. Um, Nicola or Charlotte, can't remember which, pretty similar varieties. And also the Blue Danube. I've been watering them a gallon a day per pot in this hot weather, just trying to make sure that they don't dry out. Because if they start getting dry then that's when you start getting scab when the soil's dry and also they just start to wilt anyway the second lettuces i didn't need to worry did i <laughs> can't even see the soil for them now this is the second lot but the pheasants seem to be liking these There's one there it's just eaten to death but uh no second lot of lettuces so plenty to go at absolutely loads to go at sunflowers in the pot got some in the ground doing a bit better but looking quite good there's a load of different varieties i think they've all got like purple or red or orange heads on them so it'd be different and if, if i look at some of them they've got some of them have got like multi stems like uh, so they should be multi-headed i would imagine some of these which would be quite interesting no giants but uh, i'd rather have a bit of color than just a big tall thing Let's have a look around to this side I'll show you these so-called dwarf peas <laughs> what a joke these are the dwarf peas which are about five foot tall now which are now I think they're ready aren't they let's have a look that one's a big fat one nowhere near as as full as the hearse grain shaft I can never do this with one hand looks like it's full it feels like it's empty though Open, let's open her up and see. God, I'm useless. <laughs> Look at this, I'm fisted. Oh, I've all just dropped them all. Yeah, they're good to go. There were about eight peas in it, but I've dropped them all. So, plenty of these on now. So, I'll take a little picking of those, I think. Spring onions flying along still. That's the first batch. Second batch in there. First batch in now proper decent size i'll just pull a lump up that's how easy they are to do just pull a full clump up like that and there we've got six cracking size spring onions Whew. right i think that's about it like i said things are doing pretty well the only trouble is with the with the the garter yeah the garlic but everything so far so good so that's about it folks I'll see you later.